Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services best practices for configuring the Proofpoint Protection Server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how an administrator can create and apply an outbound spam policy to an organization using the Proofpoint Protection Server. Creating an outbound spam policy is a two-step process, beginning with defining the policy and then creating rules for that policy. To create an outbound policy, select the Email Protection tab at the top of the screen and then access the Spam Detection module, Policies, and then the Policies page. To add a new policy, click on the Add Policy button. Name the new policy Outbound and then provide a brief description. Because this policy will be based on the inbound policy that was previously created, we will identify the clone setting as inbound. Next, click on the Save Changes button to create the outbound spam policy. We will start by editing our outbound spam policy rules by deselecting Bulk, Suspect, and Lower Level. Next, we can save our changes by clicking on the Save Changes button. We can now go through the remaining enabled outbound spam policy rules by selecting the Edit button for Outbound Malware. The Outbound Malware messages filtered by this rule are quarantined in the Malware folder. We'll need to create a new quarantine folder called Malware Outbound. Click on the Save Changes button to return to the Outbound Policy Rules page. We will continue down the Enabled Rules list, changing our quarantine folder names. For the phishing rule, create a new quarantine folder called Fish Outbound. As before, return to the Outbound Rules page by selecting the Save Changes button. For the Adult rule, create a new quarantine folder called Adult Outbound and then save your changes. At this point, we've updated the outbound policy spam rules for malware, fish, and adult. Viewing the list, the outbound policy spam rule for definite spam will also need to be edited. As before, set up a quarantine folder titled Definite Spam Outbound. For the delivery method, you'll need to deselect the Discard Radio button and select the Continue Radio button. The Continue Radio button can remain selected for several weeks so as to not block any outbound definite messages. The advantage to this is that you can audit the captured outbound messages within the outbound definite folder. After an evaluation period, you can then select the Discard Radio button. Remember to review your outbound spam policy to ensure that the appropriate rules and folders have been enabled. Next, click on the Save Changes button. To apply the outbound spam policy, select the Systems tab and locate the User Management module. A hierarchy is listed in the menu as organization, sub-orgs, groups, and users. In this example, we will select organization, filtering, to add our recently created outbound spam policy. Click on the Spam Policy drop-down to select the outbound spam policy that was previously created. Thank you for watching our brief video on how an administrator can create and apply an outbound spam policy to an organization using the Proofpoint Protection Server. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash kb.proofpoint.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.